Welcome to the video. We're going to take a look at another motor ESC combination here on the channel. Now previously we've looked at the 2204 class motors from places like Emacs and those have been fantastic for 250 quads. I fly them on an awful lot and they do great with 6 inch props. Now one of the builds that we did recently was this Taro model here. Now this can't support 6 inch props, it needed 5 inch props and to do it we actually if you go back to the video you'll see that we were using 1806 to 280 kv motors and we're using five inch props with a three inch pitch and they were great but if you remember we had a challenge because i was struggling to find escs that would actually fit under these little recesses on this model and the reason i'm making this video is to kind of show you that i've actually managed to find a set that you can get that will actually do the job and this is it so thank you very much to banggood.com for sending us this to have a look at. Um, this is uh, something I'll put a link to in the description in the bottom, because if you are building a 18200 class quadcopter or a 250 where there isn't a lot of room and you want uh, motors and also ESCs that will do things like fit into really small places and be very compact, this will give you what you need. We're gonna look at these motors here. So in the kit, uh, you get four motors. We have one of them out of the packet. It's actually a DYS motor. Um, and again, it's a 1806. This one's actually a 2300 kV version. It has the kind of top which gives you options to mount onto. So you get a bag of hardware with all the screws and the plate. And you also get the little standard spinner that you can screw onto the top. Now, I wish I'd have actually used these for my tarot build. The reason is, is because they're quite a bit taller than the original uh, Emacs versions that I've been using. Um, and that additional height would have also helped keep things um, out of the way. And I could have potentially even mounted my ESCs on this plate by using these motors because the props would have ridden a little bit higher. The other nice thing you get with the motors is you actually get some really cute little bullet connectors. Now I don't use bullets on these really small craft, I tend to just solder direct. On the larger craft I do use bullets because it makes replacement and swap out of parts a little bit easier. But I like the way that they've actually thought about this and included the bullet connectors and also the heat shrink too. Now you don't get them both sides, this is just the side for the motor but it's a nice touch that I haven't seen in some of the other kits that we've used. So the other thing that you get is you get four speed controllers. These are uh, DYS speed controllers. And let me take one of these guys out the bag and you can see how fantastically small they are. This is exactly the right size to fit in those slices on the side of the tarot. So if I just grab that tarot model again, they will fit beautifully in that gap. So again, wish I'd have kind of built it with that because it would have made the wiring a lot neater. They are BL Heli, uh, they're Optio speed controllers, be aware of that. So you're gonna need a five volt supply for your electronics. They don't supply the five volts. If you look at the lead from them, they only have the signal and ground but it does mean that you have a very small, lightweight, two to four S capable speed controller that's a perfect match for the motors too. So if you're building a really small craft and you want really dinky little ESCs, these are the ones that we're gonna use. I might use these on one of the 180 builds that we're going to do on the series. The last thing you get in the kit is you get some props and um, these are five inch by three inch props, exactly the same as the ones that we are already using on this model. Uh, this tarot model weighs about 423 grams with a, let me just check, a 1300 milliamp hour battery in it. Um, I'll get eight, nine minutes out of that, depending on how you fly, but there's loads of thrust from these motors with a five by three inch prop. So. Uh, this is the kit as you get it from Banggood with all this stuff in it. So I just wanted to mention this because for those of you that are looking to build the tarot, this is what I would recommend using rather than the stuff we used in the video. It gives you a far cleaner install and a simpler setup. The only thing you have to be aware of is because these speed controllers are opto, they're optically isolated, they don't have a BEC inside them, you'll have to pick up 5 volts from somewhere else. 
Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.